Welcome to American Fabricator. I am your host with more than 25 years of machining and welding experience, 22 years of which have been in this same shop that you're looking at right now. I am one of the last true fabricators left in America today. What I mean by that is people in my line of work are quickly becoming obsolete and not being replaced by newcomers as the process of attrition moves forward. Being self-employed, I have adapted to a changing marketplace and battled the trend of offshore outsourcing by designing and producing uh, niche products with a loyal following right here at home. However, the demographics in this neighborhood surrounding my shop have changed also, and not for the better. I'm in the middle of a high crime area. It gets real interesting around here at night. This place is so dangerous, I would not venture outside at night without one of these. <laughs> Behind me you see the burglar bars I made to protect myself and my tools. These babies are responsible for saving my business the last time that I was burglarized. Uh, I have video of that on my security cameras and I'd like to show it to you in a few minutes. But first let's do some machining. Okay, um, I guess I need to do some machining here. be one of my first videos where I'll be uh, performing a little bit of machining for you guys. Chuck over here. Um, use the mill as a uh, real quick lathe operation. Get that centered. Pretty much eyed in. get a good accurate center use a center centerless ground piece here um, it's going to be very accurately and cylindrical and give us the um, the best center possible I'll do I'll just eye this in about the best I can get it. I'm gonna set the mill for uh let's see here. That's pretty good right there. I set it to 80 RPM so it's not too fast. Yeah, I'm gonna move the X axis here and see it getting way out of whack here. Uh, let's bring it in. I'm gonna do the Y axis. That's way off. I'm 
and bring it in a little bit. You see how it's getting better, getting better. Right now we're about within 2,000 for an inch. That's about. Oh, that's pretty good. About a thousand. That's all I really want. We'll lock that down. 